Hi everybody, my name is Bree, and welcome back to my channel, Bree Sarts. So for today's video, I am going to show you some super, super easy Christmas decor without using my Cricut. I was super pumped when Hippo contacted me and they wanted me to try out their heat transfer paper as well as their water slide decal. So that is what we are going to be using in today's project. I'm sure that you guys have seen a lot of creators using these Hippo water slide decals. I have to admit, I was a little bit intimidated because it always looks so easy on somebody else's video, but when you actually try it yourself, you never know what's going to happen. I will say they were super easy to work with and I would 100% recommend them if you don't have a cutting machine. So I will have a link down in my description box that you can click on to go to Hippo's website and check out all they have to offer. And of course, you guys, I am using a lot of Dollar Tree items, some items from Dollarama. And with all of that being said, let's jump into the first DIY. All right, let's go. DIY number one. Okay, so we are going to start off by using this Hippo heat transfer paper. And I printed this image off. You have to use a inkjet printer on the heat transfer paper and on the water slide decal paper. And I'm using one of these, uh, I guess it's a neutral shiny placemat that I got at the Dollar Tree. So I'm just cutting that down a little bit, making sure that it fits on there really nicely. And with this heat transfer paper, I just peeled the backing off and it's a little bit adhesive on the back already. So just centering that on my placemat there and I am going to use my um, grease paper that came with the package of the heat transfer paper. So you put that over top of your image and then I'm using my Cricut Easy Press at 330 degrees Fahrenheit and it says between like 30 to 45 seconds to um, transfer this and make it adhesive onto your fabric and so there it is it's all you know stuck onto my placemat and I'm using this braided rope that I got off of Amazon. You guys know I use it all the time. It's a very clean looking rope. I love it. I love the color and it's just really super easy to work with. So just taking my hot glue and going all the way around my image here just to kind of frame it out and make it pop. And then cutting off the excess just like that. And now using some of these pine branches that I got at the Dollar Tree. Literally, you guys, I got these weeks ago and I have not be, been able to find them since. So if you find them, get as many as you possibly can. And I'm just using them for, you see where that, you know, there's a little bit of branches at the top of the um, ornaments there. So I'm just kind of making it almost 3D hot gluing them on into a pattern on the top there and now you guys <laughs> I'm terrible at bow tutorials so this is going to be no different um, so I took a length of this beautiful ribbon that I got at Dollarama it's very sparkly and I'm just taking I, I guess two lengths of it and folding it into thirds and then grabbing another piece of that ribbon for my tails. So I put them all together, um, stacked them up on top of each other, grabbed a zip tie and we're just going to completely out of frame. Oh, there we go. Or not, but we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna fluff up this bow and make it all, you know, fluffy and beautiful and 
you know, looking like a bow. So you'll see me play around with it quite a bit, just moving the, it around. And then once I'm kind of happy with how it's placed there, I will pull that uh, zip tie a little bit tighter. And then of course, cut off the little tail that that zip tie leaves and just continually fluffing this bow. Now, um, sometimes I do dovetails, sometimes I just go on an angle when I'm cutting off the tails of my bows. So this time I just went off on an angle and then just hot gluing that right to the center of my pine branches there. And there we go. Perfect. And then of course, you know, adding some extra floof, making sure that everything is all placed where I want it to be. Fiddle, fiddle, fiddle. You guys know me. Have to make it perfect. <laughs> and then taking one of these laser cut stars from, I believe I got these at Dollar Tree. And just hot gluing that into the center there and fluffing the bow even more. And just making sure that that star is nice and adhered. And there we go. Okay, so I got these uh, painter sticks from Dollarama. I know that you can get bigger ones from, say, Walmart or whatever. I can't find them at my Walmart. I've looked and looked and looked. They do not exist at my Walmart. So um, these ones I'm just going to have to use. They still have the little, you know, the little divot in them, but that's okay. So I just painted them up with my antique wax and now I am just um, placing them onto the top and the bottom of my placemat there to finish this off. And they were the perfect length. I didn't even have to cut them. So perfect. And then of course, just taking a little bit of that braided rope again to make a quick hanger on the back. I just hot glued it on. You could staple it if you wanted to, but hot glue was totally fine with me to create this really quick hanger and that is it for this DIY wasn't that easy and you can print anything off on this heat transfer paper you guys you can make anything it's so beautiful and with a placemat hello Okay, and here we go. DIY number two. All right, so again, using some of this, um, the heat transfer paper. So I got this swatch of fabric from Walmart. I'm not 100% sure what the size is. I want to say it's probably 24 inches by 24 inches, most likely. And I'm just using my easy press there to iron out all of the creases that are in that fabric. It ironed up like a dream, no issues whatsoever. So what we're going to do is make a pillow. I have never done this before, you guys. So my very first pillow and you guys get to see it. <laughs> So I'm just taking hot glue and going along the seams um, that are open to create my little, you know, pocket for my pillow. <laughs> and then just turn it inside out. And, you know, it worked actually very, very well. I did tell my kids and my boyfriend, like, this pillow is not for using. It will most likely burst. It is 100% for decoration. And so I found this image um, on Google as well. Um, I actually used Canva, a free printable plaid design, and then um, put the Noel on it on Canva and then printed it off on my inkjet printer. And just like before, 
uh, using my easy press for 30 seconds at 330 degrees and voila it is on there it is on there this transfer paper is so slick you guys it is slick I love it and so I found this trim at Dollarama um, it came in a package of like these little dangly pom-poms and then there were a few tassels in it and whatnot it's actually a really cool set and here I am I'm trying to decide am I gonna go all the way across the pillow or am am I just gonna go across the image and I finally decided just to go across the image so again hot glue going around and attaching my little pom-pom border I guess onto the design just like that it's so cute and it matched so well and so I just had some polyfill just you know laying around the house um, I did a poster in Ottoman once so that's why I had this polyfill just you know chilling around but um, you know if you have old pillows or something that you don't use anymore take the stuffing out or even if you have some old stuffed animals that your kids aren't into anymore use that stuffing like anything that you can find around the house will totally work and so here you can see a little bit out of frame I'm just sealing the other side of my pillow with some hot glue just like that <clears throat> And, you know just fluffing it out making sure that my fill is all the way you know to each corner and whatnot and then I, I was looking at it and I'm like ah I better go around the whole entire design with this pom-pom trim so I decided to finish it off on each side with the trim and legit that is it pillows are pretty easy you guys and with this design on there i just think it is so pretty it matches my decor in my living room i just absolutely love how this pillow turned out isn't it cute uh look at it so pretty All right, everybody, I hope you're enjoying these Christmas DIYs. I just wanted to pop in here really quick for a couple of reasons. First off, I am going to have a bonus video this Friday. So make sure you stay tuned, make sure that you're subscribed, you hit that bell, and that you change your settings to all so that you get notifications on when I post videos. Secondly, I just want to say, Thank you so much to all of you, anybody who is watching, all of my subscribers, my old subscribers, my new subscribers, and anybody in between. Seriously, you guys, I, you are amazing. You keep me going. Um, I appreciate you so much. I appreciate your comments, your support, all of the love that you keep sending my way every week. So just a big shout out to you guys. Without you, I 100% would not be here. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And with that being said, let's get back into those DIYs. All right, you guys, here we go. DIY number three. All right, so taking one of these cylinder glass vases from Dollar Tree, I am going to take some of my white chalk paint here, just a little bit, into a bowl and using water <laughs> from my Grogu water bottle. Real Star Wars fans call him Grogu, not Baby Yoda, just so you know. Anyways, and we're just going to uh, mix up the paint and the water so that it's it's fairly thin. It's really easy to work with here. So, you know, mixing it up, making sure there aren't any chunks or anything like that. And I just dump that 
into the vase and I'm just twirling it around so that the paint covers the inside of this vase instead of the paint being on the outside and it just makes it way more um, way more easier to handle um, you don't have to worry about scratching off the the paint and whatnot that's an easy way to do it for sure so using my water slide deco paper I printed off this image on my inkjet printer and using some acrylic sealant I'm doing three coats of that on the paper so that it seals it right in and then placing the water slide deco paper into the water it will curl up that is normal um, and just letting that soak it says for between 30 and 60 seconds so you know a solid 45 seconds <laughs> And um, so I'm just going to prepare my surface that I'm going to put the water slide deco on. You want to put a very, very thin layer of water. Just wet it down a little bit. You don't want to put too much on because then it's going to be really difficult to move the deco around. But this gives the, uh, the deco the ability to slide. So you can see there I'm just working the deco off of the underlay of the paper there so it comes off like a dream this is the first time I did no trial runs you guys no trial runs whatsoever and this was the first time that I used this water slide deco paper it was so easy it was fantastic and you can see there I'm just holding it with my hand pulling out that bottom layer and then just dabbing the deco with a paper towel with a dry paper towel and you can see you just want to work out any of the excess water that's underneath the deco so that once it dries it adheres itself right to the surface and you can just you know I did take my finger every now and then too just to you know smooth it out get some of the little droplets of water you can see there underneath the deckel so that um, all of the water was gone from underneath and you can see that it's fairly easy to move around as well if you want to reposition so very very impressed with this stuff you guys no joke and so you see there I put um, a few paper towels into the vase and now I'm just cutting up some floral foam to put inside the vase so that we can put our florals into it and I didn't want to use too much floral foam right so the paper towel is like a filler it worked perfectly and so now I am just framing out the um, the border here of my decal it it is all dry I did let it dry overnight because I didn't want it to like I didn't want to have any problems with it um, and it dried perfectly like ugh, I love 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 this DIY you guys it's so pretty um, so yeah just taking my braided rope went around there we go nice and framed out and now these beautiful sparkly gorgeous florals I got at the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna you know stick them into my floral foam just like that you know we always like to dismantle our, our uh, floral picks right so um, taking that apart pushing it in I also put some longer kind of fern looking ones in the back too and then here I am making a finger bow using some twine um, if you guys want to see a tutorial um, I know that Sammy at Unicorn Dust Designs, this is, this is her finger bow. So I will link her video for her finger bow down below. It's what I use to do it. Um, so we'll, you know, send that your way too. So look down in my description box for that if you want to know how to make that. And then I just took a little extra of that, that one floral there, um, glued it to the side and then put my finger bow on it and that is it you guys like how beautiful is that vase i love it
All right, everybody, last one, DIY number four. All right, so taking some of these coasters that I got at Dollarama, and we are just going to remove that top layer of paper because we are going to give these coasters a makeover. I absolutely love these coasters, you guys. I love how they turned out. And so taking some of my white chalk paint and I just gave it one coat. Um, it was good enough there. Uh, make sure that it's completely covered with that one coat and making sure that you get all of the edges as well. And these beautiful napkins I found at Dollar Tree. Um, aren't they so pretty? They're like woodsy and neutral and so wintry and gorgeous. I love, love, love these napkins. And they are two plies, so make sure that you take off any additional plies to any of your napkins because if you don't, they will not adhere properly when you decoupage which is exactly what we're going to do to these napkins so I'm just cutting the napkin down to size here and then taking my Mod Podge you guys when you are decoupaging do not use too much Mod Podge a thin layer is good enough because it's just enough to adhere your tissue paper or your napkin whatever it is that you're using to your surface. If you use too much Mod Podge, then you risk getting a whole bunch of wrinkles and that the napkin will tear because it's that much more moisture that's underneath. And then you saw there that I did do another layer over top of that napkin. Because these are coasters, um, I did do two additional coats over top of each one of the napkins just because you know if you're putting hot drinks or cold drinks there's condensation and we don't want to ruin the the surface of the napkin and using my water slide decal paper again um, I created these uh, sayings so there's joy to the world silent night Oh Holy Night and Deck the Halls and I just created those in Canva. They have a ton of beautiful fonts that you can use to make a whole schwack of different decals. And just like before, so I placed the decal into the water. It curls up just like that um, for about 45 seconds, taking some of the water, not too much, and coating the top of my coaster there so that my water slide decals will slide and this is phenomenal you guys no Cricut required y'all it's so great and so you can see here I'm just securing the top of the decal down with my hand very gently and then just pulling the paper out from underneath and then using a dry paper towel just blotting it getting all of that excess moisture from underneath out from the surface there and look at that look at that oh I guess it says does it say comfort and joy sorry it says comfort and joy I think I said joy to the world before but comfort and joy <laughs> And so just blotting all of that moisture out and that is it. Like how easy is that? It's so, so simple. And then of course I did take my Mod Podge and I did put an additional coat over top of the decal as well as the entire coaster just to make sure that they're nice and waterproof for when you use them and that's it so so easy you guys I love how these turned out don't they look so great oh I just love them All 
right, everybody, that is it for our hippo water slide decal and heat transfer paper DIYs. I absolutely love this vase. It is 100% my favorite. I just love how it turned out. It's so pretty. Now, as always, you guys, let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite. And make sure you check my description box to uh, get the link for the HIPAA website so you can check out everything that they have to offer. If you don't have a cutting machine, this is a great option. Now, if you want to support my channel, down in my description box, I will also have my buy me a coffee link. And thank you so much for watching, you guys. If you like what you see, do me a solid. Tap that like button, maybe subscribe, tell your friends, you know, all of that jazz. Stay tuned for the gag reel. Bye, guys. All right, you guys, I'm just popping in here really quick to, oh no. Nope, 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 nope. <sighs> and with all of that being said, let's jump into the first DIY. I eat. I <clears throat> so crazy, we've been doing so much Christmas and Christmas, like Advent is just starting next week. Are we going to get christmas out here? I don't know. I don't know. Got some curlies today. I want to get sick. Oh. Hmm. Hum, bum, 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 bum. You know, I used to do, I used to do the lashes. I used to, before COVID hit. I'm dying to get the lashes back. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, everybody. I hope that you guys are enjoying these hippo doom. <laughs> You know what, I appreciate it when people say that this is tough because this is tough, you guys, getting up in front. Like, if you look back at my old videos, you can see how nervous I was. I was literally like a chipmunk, it was so ridiculous. So I am, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, get into the groove to show you my personality. I know at the beginning of my videos, it's all business, man. It's all business because, you know, I have to, you know how you have a work voice and then you have a, a fun voice. Like I have my professional voice and I have my mom voice and I have my friend voice and you know, all of that. So I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who knows that this is not easy. This is not easy.